you can see a bit of each person, how they view the world, what they want to show the world, how they express their art. It's all, it's all in each, in each artwork. Uh, so they're all very different, but, um, but they, they express something that's personal to each artist. Abiodo Onlako, who's very passionate about drawing, when you look at the works, the, the drawings he has presented are very different. He tries to almost experiment with each work and do something different. Um, he's used a wash with some of the works, which gives it some, some color. And with one of the works, he's focused on the form. So he's not interested in the face. He's thinking, just deal with the form. And it's, it's very spare. And it's just about the lines. In another work, he's added pastel. So you can see some richness to, to, the, to the form and the figure. And um, another work, it's, it's all gray, gray wash with, with lines. But when you look at Shagwa and Dejuma's um, drawings, you find that some of the drawings are new. And you find that at the time, Dejuma was doing a lot of these drawings. And they're, they're very interesting. These are similar to the drawings he was doing at the time. And I think he found the way they were very, very fluid lines and a delicate balance between space and lines, so you always found an interesting balance and it was more about a hint of the work and the model and a way to balance the figure you were going to see and the space around it. And in doing these works, he followed the same pattern. So it, it's, it's almost, it's in a sense traditional um, it's, it's a classical approach to, to, to work. Delhi is clearly a model. And, um, but it, he, his style is very interesting. It's minimalist, it's, it's a nice balance, and it's nice and spacious. In, a writer's, in some of writer's work, you find the same interesting idea. He's using the model to go on his journey. And it, it's his own journey. It doesn't quite feel like a studio drawing. There's something personal about it. I mean, first, one of the drawings, he's got, he's got the model um, almost lying down nude. And clearly, she wasn't nude there, but he decided this was possibly probably the best way to express what he was looking for. In another one, she's, she seems to be asleep. That doesn't look like um, a model drawing. It feels like a very personal drawing. And what he's done is to use her to create what he wanted. So there, it's more about the motions. They, in some of them, there's, there's, there's the motion of peace, loneliness, desire. And he's, he's creating his own ideas, using her as a vehicle for those ideas. He's always been a gregarious artist, so he's, he's, he loves the idea of company. And he, he would have reveled in, in having this sort of workshop where he's dealing with his fellow artists and friends. Asilio would basically create as he went along, he was very instinctive, very intuitive, and and his works would could be a haphazard journey. He could throw in all sorts of things as he worked. So even when he was doing these, he would have put part of the studio, part of the, the model would be one part of the process. The other part of the process would be how he was feeling at the time. And so it was always part him and part what was in front of him. And so when you look at the figures, you can see elements of the way he works. You can see the really dynamic brushstrokes, the really 
the energy, the 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 near chaos, but not quite. But you can see a, a certain energy in in the brush strokes, a certain impatience in how to get to that journey. You can see an irreverence. You can see a desire to to not necessarily follow what was in front of him. In one of the in one of the the drawings, there's there's something that looks like a pot on the side of the beside the model. Obviously, this wasn't there when, when they were doing the work, but he could have started out drawing and could have the model in front of him and then could have thought of a home scenario and would incorporate that and it would all be part of the process for him. He didn't feel like he had to be restricted to what was in front of him. It was always a tool. And what was more important was the story inside of him and what he needed to um, pass across to people. First thing you find with, with Ogrigo's work is you can tell that he is really, really good with forms. And that's, that's the one thing that always comes across. He knows how to create form. He knows, he knows how, to, how to do detail and, and do movement. And these are very, these are apparent in what he's done here. With his figures, you, you can get a sense of a lot of energy. He's, he creates movement. Uh, the same sort of movement he'd have created in his oil, oil on canvas works, you'd find them in his, in, in, in his work here. Um, but he's also, there's a certain restraint as well. So it's an, it's an interesting balance of, of the traditional where he presents the model as a model type drawing with, it's a formal model drawing. But then there's the energy and the movement of his charcoal, which gives it a totally different feel. So it's an interesting balance he tries to create with his works. Benasaga's works, first, I, I, I think Benasaga was a really, really special artist. Unfortunately, we lost him a few years ago. It's such a shame. He was just such a special artist. And even at this time, and everyone knew him special. He, he was one who would try to do things differently. And he, he was just really adventurous. In his works, um, if you look at the works he's done, he's taken the model and then just done something different. Um, it's again, He's used the model as, as a guide on a different journey. As with many of his works, you will see the background elements. He's very Osagai, while he was, his works may seem haphazard. And he was interesting in that he knew every bit of the surface. If he did a work, he almost conceived the work even before he started and could tell you everything that could happen in the work. Every single line had a meaning. And he was very interested in design and balance. So when you look at the drawings he's done, you will probably see areas behind, around it where he's done a, a screen, a, a brush stroke uh, across. And usually that's to find some balance um, so that in his mind, everything had to work together. He wasn't interested in proportions and getting the forms right. Those things didn't matter to him. He was interested in the overall idea and making sure the artwork told the story he wanted to tell. And um, so in some of these works, he would have dual figures. And um, so he could it would, if you looked at the scenario where he'd started and then look at the finished work, it'd be probably totally different. He didn't have any of the background items, none of the, all of the 
the surrounding items with the model, those were all gone. Those were, I suppose, for him unimportant. All he wanted to do was create the work and, and create a message. Olua Jai's works, at about this time, Olua Jai had he'd been doing a lot of, a lot of um, gouache works, they were very monochromatic gouache works that were really visually direct and there was really a lot of um, very direct, very simple, very um, in-your-face works with a lot of um, black and white. Um, these, those were very interesting and I think he carried over some of that style. Stylistically, you can see some of that in, the, in what he's done here. The first work is also the same idea. It's, 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 a, it's a gouache monochromatic work with the, with the model um, by a window. Now, what's different about his works is that they're, they're more, more aggressive. You can, he's able to bring the model right to you. Um, with some of the, with some, sometimes with these works, there's, there's a remove and you have to almost go to the picture and, and discover it. With him, he brings the picture to you. So you can see that the lines are bold, they're, they're very strong, very direct. And um, he creates, he situates her in, in the space. So he adds the elements that may or may not have been there, the window with the light coming in. And that adds drama um, to, to the work. And so it gives you a totally different story. And so it's, it's not really just about the model now. It's, it's the whole story about where she is, what she could be doing, and um, how she comes out of you. So he, he, he manages to be very direct, but also very appealing in, in his works.